Of course, in this day and age, there really is no secret that there are a number of health risks associated with the use of tobacco. Today, youth advocates from around Detroit are pushing for changes that could help others avoid those dangers. Today's National Day of Action is about much more than just saying no to cigarettes. It's about changing laws. Priya Mann, live in Detroit with more on that story. Priya. You know, Devin, when we think about vices that might ensnare young people, smoking might not top the list the way it did in the 70s or 80s, but it's still a huge concern. And when it comes to big tobacco, well, today, young people got to make their voices heard. Take a listen. Take down tobacco! Accept that! Detroit area students took their message directly to City Council member Scott Benson. Younger adult smokers are the only source of replacement smokers. In the auditorium of the Coleman A. Young Municipal Center, dozens gathered for Take Down Tobacco Day. Today it's about calling out tobacco and exposing them for the jokers that there really are. The event is an opportunity for young people to get involved by urging local elected officials to pass resolutions in support of legislative action. Youth are concerned about flavored vapes and its targeting of um, youth in the city of Detroit and surrounding communities. Preemptive language in favor of big tobacco often means municipal governments can't pass more stringent laws than state regulations. Detroit Council Member Benson says this needs to change. We're going to take this to our legislators. This is a huge issue in the country, in the state, and in the city of Detroit. And we need to have the ability to regulate tobacco within our own cities. And Council Member Benson says the next step is to present a resolution to City Council and if it's adopted, head to Lansing. We will, of course, continue to follow their efforts. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Yeah, we will. All right, Priya.